Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Home and Family. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. We're on our second cup of coffee, maybe yes. third or fourth, depending <laughs> on who you ask. And we are just happy to be with all of you today. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. You know what? You're so right. It is. It yeah. is as simple as that. I just love being here. That's all Can't you complain. need sometimes. Just a smile to, yeah. to brighten your day, And good day, friends right? and family. Oh, that's right, Allie. And you know what? And some really exciting news, by the way. We have some exciting news to share, but it's also quite pressing. Mm -hmm. There are only three days left to make someone's Christmas dreams come true, you all, with Hallmark Channel's Holiday Home Decoration Sweepstakes. It's a good one. It is so good, and we are partnering with Toyota and Balsam Hill to transform another lucky viewer's home into the ultimate Christmas wonderland. Oh. I mean, this is so exciting, uh, right? It's so and, fun, too. <laughs> yeah, it, and it's just so fun to decorate the rooms. I've been working on a few myself, oh, actually. This is my it. latest one. Valley, that's beautiful. It's crisp and clean. I just love the, like, white crispness, and beautiful. this is what my house would look like if my kids weren't there. No, I'm kidding. I want my kids there for Christmas, but I just oh love goodness. the feel of this room. It just feels... It screams Christmas. It does, and I love that you used two Christmas trees. I did the same thing, and I love all the garland. Oh, it's so beautiful. And so much fun and so easy to enter. Look at a few of these from some of our viewers at home. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my gosh. I love this room. It's so cozy. Oh, I love and that you guys, one too. all you have to do is visit hallmarkchannel.com forward slash Christmas, and oh. you can deck the virtual halls of your very <laughs> own Christmas room for a chance to win. Those are some really great oh, ones. And, and, and I've said it a million times, but honestly, I get so much joy out of decorating these virtual yeah. rooms. And you can decorate 10 rooms a day and enter up to 10 times a day. Plus, you can earn an extra bonus entry when you share one of your rooms on social media. So good luck, everybody. Yes, yeah, so and we love seeing them on social media, right. so keep them coming. So now, while we're in the Christmas spirit over here, right, I think it's time to check in with Maria, who I saw making the cutest DIY earlier. Maria, you've got to give us a sneak peek. Oh yes, and it all starts with just a box. I love making things basically out of nothing. This is an inexpensive DIY for a very secret party for the holidays. So you guys definitely want to stick around for this one. It's gonna be a lot of fun and super, super easy. I can't wait to see how that one turns out, Maria. Meanwhile, we're gonna check in with Larissa, who seems to have stolen my co-host for the day. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. What are you doing, Allie? <laughs> sorry, Deb. <laughs> Here we, you are, those guys. We have puppy love going on back here, Allie and I, and these three babies. Are you, I mean, I can see it on your face. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that. We've got three little pups here. We have Amelia, Hayden, who is a boy, and Harriet. So it's two girls and one boy. Now, don't let their size fool you. They're only eight weeks old. They're going to be pretty big. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. They are German Shepherd, or excuse me, Shepherd and Great Dane. Mix. Now, their mom was pulled out of a high kill shelter here in LA, and she had just given birth to these babies in the shelter. It's okay, they want to get to each other. And um, and they have been looked after from Paul Works, the rescue, and they are doing so well, and they're growing, and they're going to be strong little ones. Now, mind you, they are puppies, so as we always like to remind you, they have puppy energy, they love to run, they love each other, and, you know, they definitely need some training and all of that good stuff that comes along with puppies. It's always a good reminder because they're so tempting, and you just want to snatch them up and love on them forever and ever. And two of these ones, have blue eyes, which obviously is amazing. So if you are interested and ready for what's happening right now, this amazing, loving moment with this puppy, you can go to pawworks.org. There are 10 puppies in all. And you know, just another example of the fact that shelters are full of puppies or pregnant moms that need help. So please find a rescue or shelter near you and give one of these babies an adoption ever after. Allie, you have to admit, there's nothing that makes a day better than a puppy, right? No, this, like I said, <laughs> nothing. And their little eyes, they're so cute. I gotta say, I know, uh, Debbie, you're headed into the kitchen right now, but I, I think that I might just have to hang out here. I'm pretty full from those raviolis earlier. And, uh, how could I leave these faces? How could I leave them? We're sticking around back here, Deb. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, thank thank you. you, Larissa thank and you Allie. Those puppies are so cute. I just want to squish them. <laughs> Meanwhile, we are in the kitchen with our next guest, who you will remember very well as a vocal powerhouse from the first season of American Idol. And today, we are singing her praises in the Aww. kitchen over her delicious chicken adobo. Please welcome to our home, Tamira Gray. Welcome, Tamara. Thank you. You're so cool. Who are you here? As you can see, Paige, Maria, Hello. and... Um, Kimmy are all waiting patiently at the counter. I feel like you're the Charlie's Angels.
vegetables. Look at these three I blocks. Know, yeah. exactly. <laughs> We're waiting patiently for your delicious chicken adobo. And to, to, to talk a little bit about American Idol, you yeah. guys remember Tamara yeah. from home. Yes. The yes. first season, it was the biggest show on television. And I have to be honest with you, 17 years later, I think your fourth place finish is still a bit of a shock. But you say, you know what, no hard feelings. That show taught you how to be a superstar, didn't that, it? That show taught me everything. Um, we went through the gamut of um, everything of the music industry. It was like artist development on steroids when I was in the show. We would do, um, what, TV commercials. We had to learn a new song every week. We had to get up on stage and perform every single well, it felt like every day, right? You know, our, we we didn't get any sleep, and we were constantly on, you know. And yeah. so, as as kids who came from no, you know, background. no background of the music industry, it was very full speed ahead. You know, you had to be ready with your sales <laughs> up and just go yeah. with the flow of everything. And it was it prepared me for everything that I've been doing since. I mean, it prepares you for life, really. It really Not just does. Singing and performing. It really does. And here you are, 17 years later. You have been very busy. You have two beautiful children oh. and a wonderful, loving husband. I do. And you love to cook. I love to cook. So tell I us about your cook. chicken adobo. My chicken adobo came from my brother Rah Ra is his nickname. <laughs> Rory is his real name. Um, he moved in with me when he graduated from high school. And he didn't like my cooking because I wasn't very good. And he was like, you are not a good cook. Let me show you something. In high school, he told oh my yes. God. Yeah, he really did. And so he grew up in Guam. And so, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he made this dish, chicken adobo, and it was the best thing that I had had you know, ever. up until that point, yes. <laughs> and so I've been making it ever since. Well, it smells it's delicious. It smells so good. good. It started with some olive oil and onions and garlic that mm -hmm. you sauteed. Yes. And now I've noticed that you dropped in some so, chicken that has already been cooked. Yes, the chicken's oh, already yeah. been cooked. I like to cook um, with my chicken that I use for my chicken broth. So you make your own chicken oh. broth? I make my own chicken broth, wow. yes. Why do you like to do that? I Smart. like to do that because it's chock full of electrolytes. Oh, wow. wow. Well, it yeah. really is yes. so healthy. It really is. It's so it's good really for good. you. And it's great during the winter months. So if you're not going to make your own chicken broth so you have a fully cooked chicken, could you just go get the chicken from the grocery store, the one that's in the you know, oh, yeah. bag? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Rotisserie one. Rotisserie one. Absolutely. Go okay. get the rotisserie chicken, you know, take all the, well, you don't have to take the skins off because you can actually just brown the skin while you're cooking the um, the garlic and onions. Okay. And then you're going to add some vinegar. Okay. Oh, it's vinegar. Equal it, parts of everything. Okay. It's Equal like parts. a white vinegar, white wine vinegar? This is apple cider. Apple cider, cider vinegar. Oh, and, but you could use any other vinegar, right? You could use any vinegar you like. Oh. I like apple cider vinegar. Uh, my brother likes distilled vinegar. That's how I started. Um, and then you're also going to add uh, some soy sauce. And I imagine if you use different types of vinegar, it'll probably give it a different sort of kick. Yeah. Yes. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's a lot of soy sauce. Yeah. Is that it going to be super salty? So the, um, the chicken broth will balance it out. Oh, it'll right. Take down the saltiness. Plus, I also use low sodium. Okay. Uh, so you don't salt with. your chicken broth. That's I, a yes. good note. No. Okay, and, and then we add your beautiful chicken broth, your yeah. homemade chicken broth, and we let it simmer. Yes, let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Covered? 10, 20 minutes, covered. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, so while that simmers, let's get back to American Idol for Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Simon Cowell, we all know and love Simon Cowell, but he's also very well known for his biting critiques. Yeah. And you said, you know what? He did not scare you one bit on that stage. No, not at all. You, you, know, you were so young, <laughs> and she was like, I'm not scared of Simon Cowell. <laughs> I come from a family that's not afraid to speak their mind. You know, so if you are not good, they will say, no, that, that was terrible. Even my family now, my own family is the exact same way. <laughs> but at least you know where you stand. Exactly. Right? You know, yeah. and, and the thing is, he, what, he, was on the, he was that way on TV. But behind the scenes, he was very encouraging. And even that moment when I didn't have a great uh, uh, performance, he was like, he didn't say anything really mean. He just said, that wasn't my favorite. Okay. Yeah. Prove me wrong on the next one. I know the next one will be good. And you did prove him wrong because on the next one, your rendition of A House Is Not A Home, he oh, said, was, was one of the best oh. performances he's ever seen on television. Wow. Having said I know, that, that gives me chills. chills. <laughs> okay, so we have let this simmer now for 10 minutes. Here's our final product that you ladies are going to have in just a moment. Now, I know you have a tip if, if the sauce is too tangy or too tart because your mom doesn't like it that way. Yes. Right? So if it's too tart or too tangy, you can add some maple syrup oh, yeah. or some sugar. Okay. Um, 
anything, whatever you, however, ooh, how, sorry, however you <laughs> like to sweeten. And do you do it at the end? Actually, no, you do it inside. Okay, you so you the, can do it while it's cooking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, beautiful. And we'll serve this right up. You ready, ladies? Yes. yes. It smells so it good. It smells And by amazing. the way, it's so good for you. Nothing in here. You have olive oil, you have garlic, mm -hmm. you have onions, chicken broth that you've made yourself. I mean, even even the, the maple syrup is good for you. Like mm -hmm. I said, and Cameron Matheson would tell you. Yeah. The, the apple, apple cider vinegar. The apple cider vinegar. Very healthy. Right. Okay, so why don't you bring it over here tomorrow and we'll serve it over rice, which is the traditional way to serve this, yes. right? You don't like rice, you could probably do quinoa or something. You right? know, I also did noodles the other day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. delicious. So I'm very happy to say that in just a few weeks, you will be going on a nationwide tour for the Tony Award winning play Once on This Island, which is very exciting. Tell us about it. Why was this the time to take the show on the road? You know, it, we're, we are in a time where everyone is experiencing change, and it's a show of hope. Where of a girl who has decided that she's ready to venture into her next phase of life. You know, she her, her parents, she's, in, she's adopted, and her parents are telling her she's not quite ready for it yet, that she needs to stay here. And she's saying, no, I am ready to go. And they're saying that there's a lot of troubles in the world that you don't know what you're going to see. And she's asking to be allowed to take the journey. So it's a journey of, it's a journey of life. It's a journey of hope. It's a journey of trials and triumphs. And it's it's um, ultimately a story of love. Congratulations on that. I know Thank you did you so it on Broadway, much. and you did such a great job. All right, Tamara, it's our turn to get in here. All what right, you think, ladies. It's so good. good. Okay, really let's try good. it. Very let's taste unique. the fruits of your labor. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Your brother's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What's your brother's name again? Rory. Rory. You killed it. This yes. is delicious. Thank, Thank you, you so Sarah. much. For the full recipe, you all can visit HallmarkChannel.com. And for more information on Once on This Island, you all visit OnceOnThisIsland.com. More to come on Home and Family. Maria's adorable DIY Secret Santa mailbox is as cool as the North Pole. It's a lot more simple than I thought it was going to be. And author Lori Gelman shares the hilarious secrets of moms. I'm not paid for this job. Please don't yell at me.